Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's World video. Today is another update, my Siege Defense Together video. <laughs> so you guys will see what I have done to update one of my Siege Defenses like I have stated that I'll do in my previous, 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 previous video where I got a pretty good amount of views so I think that a lot of people will be interested on how I did it. And today we're going to be working on Zenobia, Clara, and China. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please consider smashing that like button, make it blue, and also subscribing to this channel because that really helps this channel and this video get exposed to more viewers out there. Don't forget to comment as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, before we start the video, if you are interested in any of the account services you see in this video or my past videos, please go to the descriptions below and join my Discord channel. All the information you need is there. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me and my channel financially, please join my Patreon, which there is also a link in the descriptions below. By joining, there is a chance you can win a free account improvement in the content you want in Summoner's War, and also free to ask for help whenever you are stuck in the game. I try to be more of a direct help to my Patreons, so there is a high chance I will help you with your account. Just remember to be respectful to each other, and we can schedule a time that works. That is it, and let's continue with the video. But today, we're gonna do this, China. Clara and the Zenobia update and you guys can see that some of these stats are already way lower than what they were be what they were before and that's because again I took off a lot of runes for the other two defenses that I've already done in the prior videos so I hope you guys understand that um, let's work on Clara and if you guys remember what I said in my previous video when I talked about the Clara, I wanted to leave her as is. I wanted to leave her on a will build. By doing so, she's not gonna get any faster, but I was wrong. Uh, it was, I was able to actually make her slightly faster, I think four speed faster, still on the will build, but she will have less accuracy. What did I decide to do? Am I gonna risk it by going second if they outspeed me, or am I gonna make her faster, but is her act, um, I'm gonna risk it for her not stripping. So I decided to risk it by at least giving her a chance to go first, then um, going second, because I think by doing that, the RNG is still better on my side. So let's go change her. Currently she's on Swift Will, and she still will be on Swift Will. These are the runes, but I believe that this rune is gonna be replaced. So she's not gonna have that much high of an accuracy, but thankfully we are getting 16 accuracy on skill three on this, on this artifact. So that's something good there. But let's go right in and change her up. So she's on swift will, like I said. Uh, we're gonna take a speed rune from Celia. That's a fast rune, guys. Okay, so we're gonna take that. Then we're also gonna leave her with this rune that she currently has. So that's another fast rune. Everything else will be swift, and she's gonna have a defense slot six now. That's 26 speed with some accuracy. She's gonna keep this rune. Um, I might make her keep this rune, and she's gonna keep this rune because I want to keep this because it at least gives her some accuracy. If I change it out, um, she'll get more attack and stuff. But I don't think that's necessary, so I'll leave it as, at this. So let's let's do this. So 30% accuracy, 95 crit rate, um, you can see 305 speed. So I think that's what I really wanted, so I can, I'm gonna keep it like this. And here I am gonna convert this to something better. Maybe skill 3 crit damage. Actually let's do a no normal conversion, because who knows, maybe we'll get something better. Like additional... <laughs> that's bad. Like additional damage by speed. Come on. <laughs> um, skill to accuracy helps because it's the defense break. Should I just keep that? <laughs> um, let's just do one more. Okay, let's just keep that. And let's see if we can get something better here. We're going to go with HP again. Um, 
damage you see from water, speed portion lost HP, damage dealt on fire, uh, defense portion lost HP, single target crit damage, additional damage by attack. I mean, that's nothing really great, right? How about we look at defense? Damage is from water, damage is from dark, crit damage received, speed. Um. Ooh, damage to don't win, crit damage received, attack, increasing. Okay, let's just do this one. It's from the other Clara that I'm not currently using. So let's do that. Yeah, her, her base defense is so low, so we getting the additional defense from artifacts is probably smart. So this is Clara. This is Clara. Um, I really like her new build. She's faster, so that's that's great actually. So let's. I hope that this does this does well. Now let's go on the Shina that's moving next. She got a little slow. Um, her original speed was two forty eight, I believe. Yeah, so sorry, plus one forty eight. So she was at two fifty one speed, but I made her faster. Um, the runes that she has right now, just some of these runes, nothing that cra nothing crazy. Um, but we're we'll definitely gonna update her runes. So let's go in. She's gonna be on a will, violent will build again. Um, she's gonna have a will slot six that was once on the Sierra guys. Okay. So take the so Sierra is getting stripped, like literally stripped. And then we're gonna take a rune from Tiana. There you go. So that's a pretty fast rune too. And then everything is violent. She's gonna keep this slot one. She's gonna keep this slot four. This is probably one of the weaker runes. So I need to get up the upgrade there. She's gonna get a rune from Savannah. Right there. And then finally a slot two HP from the Kamoon. Right there. Boom. So you can see she's at 265 speed now. Um, still 30k HP, good attack, good amount of defense. Low accuracy, but we are getting the accuracy from this. Slot to a skill to accuracy plus 18%, so I think that's great. This is the one artifact that I'm kind of iffy about. So let's see if we can find an upgrade there. I want to get attack. I want to get more damage. Damage dealt by attacking together. This one looks good. Yeah, I like that damage dealt by attacking together. Yeah, let's take this one. So let's give her more, more attack. So I think that's still good. Still close to 30k HP. Um, and defense increasing effect is a lost cause. So let's see if we could change that. Oh, we can't. We can't change that. Um, but yeah, I like where she's at. So we will use her like this. So that's a big upgrade, right? 10 more speed. Well, more than 10 more speed, 14 more speed. So that's a big upgrade. With her crit rate, crit damage around the same. A um, little less accuracy, but she is getting 18 from here. So 30% accuracy plus her passive, which gives her 25% 25 more, 25 more. I think she has more than enough. So we'll use the Shina like that. Finally, let's go with the Zenobia. The Nobel looks like this right now, and her speed was really slow. I think she was at the 220 something speed, 227. But we're gonna we made her faster too. She's in the 240 speed. Okay, guys, 240 speed. So let's go right in. Currently, these are the these are the stats. These are the runes. So this one this one wasn't even all grinded. Um, but we are gonna change her runes. Uh, maybe even her artifacts. This one looks actually pretty nice. But let's go right in. The will runes. She's gonna take one that was once on the Carcano. So let's look at crit rate. It's this one right here, so we'll take that. Then we'll take a skill, a speed from Mo as well. So this one is really, this one is really nice. I really wanna take this, but if I take this, her crit rate will go down by 3%, making it 67. So we'll keep her, we'll keep the one that we were using.
here we will take a speed a 20 speed right here the violet one we will keep and then we'll take one from the Tessarion right here that's giving her a lot of HP then we're I think we're taking a rune from the Savannah that's 26 speed this is her build 241 speed actually that was 242 speed yeah 241 still 14 speeds faster than before um, let's see if we could change change any of these so this one's not that bad because she's more tanky this one looks good let's give her that let's give her that how about just more attack in general it looks pretty good so that's the Zenobia both attack artifacts a lot of HP some defense much faster than before going first going second and going third let's test the defense out against one of our Carcano defenses They should move first. Triple stun. Nice. She didn't put up her attack buff. Rocking as much as I wanted to. Okay, no stun. Okay. I guess it's just not that great AI wise in defense. But that was it guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you guys think about the update. The team overall got much faster. Shrina gained 14 more speed. Same with the Zenobia. Zenobia gained 14 more speed, whereas her stats stayed almost the same. And same with the Shrina. And also the Clara got four speed more faster. Uh, her accuracy definitely got hit hard, but I'm hoping with this 46 accuracy is enough. And you guys saw we were getting double, triple stuns with skill 3, so I think that it is good enough. But that was it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please put a comment below. Please smash that like button, make it blue, and also consider subscribing if you haven't. And if you want me to do anything else in Summoner's War, please let me know. I'll gladly take recommendations and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.